Okay, at another location here. I just found a vacuum on the side of the road. It's got the cord on there, which is good. And on the other side, I found this chair, a metal chair. Yeah, it looks like steel. So I'm uh, going to process some scrap today, and I'm going to show you what some of the prices are, because I know a lot of prices are going down. I'm going to take the lead. Lead, I'm going to take aluminum. Um, uh, a couple of things. I'm going to kind of get some prices on some other materials, so we'll see. Uh, I'll let you know later. Let's keep moving on. Okay, a little monitor on the side of the road here. It's an HP. I'm going to take that because it's got a little bit of... Uh, a little copper, a small tube, easy to dispose. And sometimes the monitor's got uh, a little bit better components in there, so I'll pop that up, take that it for now. Another another TV set there. It's good row here, it's hard to believe I'm finding stuff here. In the like ghetto. A TV set day today. I grabbed just a TV set, it's fine. Bunch of junk on the side of the road. Right there on the side of the road. Pop that in the back. Go ahead, pop it in there. Nice heavy uh, ceiling fan. I like taking different ways home all the time because too. just never know what pops up in different areas. So, okay, start to move on. We all load. I'm gonna take this door as dirty aluminum, and the other door he's gonna strip there. A screen door for. Uh, Aluminum. So I got some cast barbecue lids to them, two separate lids, complete, no screws and everything. Bicycle wheels, a couple mags, mixed aluminum, aluminum frames. That's going to go to Snitzer. And then uh, the Asians are going to get the sinks because they pay better. They'll get the sealed units, the ballasts. Um, I do have some uh, broken power tools different things here I'm gonna sell them the way they are because uh, there's not a lot a lot of copper in there so it's not really worth it to me also uh, there's a couple crutches in here there's gonna be a walker dirty so I'm gonna sell the dirty stuff to uh, and I got a bunch of dirty aluminum in, in that container there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell to the Asians and then uh, Snitzer will get the uh, clean material because when you got clean material they pay better like I say there's some there's a fan in there and some drill a couple drills and so on there's a scooter, there's another sealed unit on the side. So there'll be, um, I think, four or five sealed units. And, and you know, th this portion in front goes to uh, the Asian scrapyard. And then I have the uh, batteries. There's car three car batteries and three or four miscellaneous batteries also. So that's my load. And I'll let you know what the prices are because I know the prices are dropping big time. So. Uh, this is just bulky material that's taking up too much space and we'll see how it goes it's not i'm not expecting a lot of money here at all but it's just the recycling right that's the key thing we do our, our part in recycling okay that's it. Uh, a little bit of bx the old house uh, old school wire very hard to strip wheels a good little load here a real good load i'll show you whatever i'm bringing on this side here to sensor you can see their, their piles getting really big here. The other pile across the way is huge. Look how big it is. Unbelievable. It's like a mountain. Batteries. Wheels, wire, BX. Okay, that's my load right there. Okay, load it up. Okay, uh, scrap prices right now, cast aluminum, 64 cents, old sheet aluminum, 63, uh, wheels, mags, like aluminum mags are 86 cents a pound, pretty good, BX cables down to 83 cents, copper number two insulated, and that was really uh, green stuff with a cloth kind of uh, wire, uh, 83, no that was uh, 59 cents for that. Scrap lead, that's just clean lead by itself, is 71 cents. So lead has gone higher. It was 66 cents before, so that price has gone up. Batteries are 40 cents a pound. Uh, they told me uh, copper is two dollars and three for number one cents, or number one. So that means that's five cents lower already. 
since the last week, I guess. So the prices have really dropped on a lot of things. Uh, if you have any dirty aluminum, 14 cents a pound now. It used to be 50, 60 cents. Didn't care too, too much about the odd screw. Now it's gotta be super clean. If it's really clean, they pay really good prices, top dollar. But if it's not clean, there's a problem. Stainless steel is probably a lot lower. It used to be 12 cents, but I'm taking the sinks to uh, the Asian people, see what they all pay for that. And I give a report on the other stuff. So I'll have dirty aluminum to show you. They told me 14 cents there. And that was fairly clean aluminum. Now, if you get one that's extremely dirty, it might even be cheaper. So uh, we'll have to see. I'll let you know what they pay. And they wouldn't take those uh, batteries that come out of um, cordless drills and all that. Those cordless batteries, lithium ion ones, they don't take those at all. Any of those re rechargeable types, they don't take it. Okay, so let's see what it goes. I'll go there and uh, I'll let you know. Oh, not too busy here. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to drive in here with some stuff. Let's see what they pay here. Look at the mountain of uh, wire there. They got so much wire here. Mountains of wire. So I want to see exactly what they pay for wire. I'm going to find out. I'll go from there. Yeah. For the Asians there, uh, prices even gone down there. Uh, I see belt. Oh. Okay, so basically prices there for a sinks an hour, 30 cents a pound. And dirty aluminum is like 20 cents a pound. A little bit better than Snitzer. Snitzer will pay maybe like 12 cents for aluminum. So a little upper edge is better but for uh, extension cords and wire like that they pay 55 cents a pound so that's not too bad which I'm thinking about seriously selling mine because I have at least the three or four hundred pounds and the problem is I can't process stuff it's just very low recovery and it's just too much time consuming so I may actually take fill my van up full of all that wire and then sell it all there so I'm thinking but I'm gonna keep anything in strippable like BX I keep not BX but all the uh, Luminex and all that, I'll keep that myself, any bigger wire. This will be just uh, low recovery type wire, stuff from uh, auto stoves are probably not that great either because they're very small wire, but I'll separate the thicker wire anyways. So uh, those sealed units, they paid me 10 cents for sealed units, um, same price, uh, even those little uh, uh, drills and all those, 10 cents a pound too. So like, well, anyways, that's better than the other place pays, I would think, because even if I took it apart, I'll have probably, you know, 80% plastic, and, you know, 5% copper, really, and a little bit of steel, so no no point. Uh, so prices are going down. There's a couple of chairs right on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I look, people are throwing stuff away. It's like, you know, once I get a few things, all of a sudden I get more and more and more. It just keeps building up like crazy. So anyways, just want to let you know, uh, I may seriously start doing my wire because I uh, might, it's 3 o'clock now, so it'll probably take about two hours to process. I may do that right now. Because I have stuff already processed, all I have to do is put it in the buckets and get it ready. Okay, uh, I'll report some more to you, but uh, prices are getting cheaper and cheaper. So your decision if you want to keep keep it for long term or you want to sell it before it goes too low, or it's up to you. You're the one. It's your material. You decide. My wire here, on my uh, low grade wire, data wire and stuff, and got about ten tubs. I got a couple tubs of bit of breakage you'll see what he pays for that otherwise I'll have to separate myself I'll show you the back area yeah I don't want to wait any longer here the prices are just dropping and this is really low grade too hard to uh, strip anyway so not a big deal this is really easy to get this wire I'm gonna see what he gives me for this here this is the the fins here and there's a little bit of copper on the end and I just want to see what he pays I'll let you know in the video what he pays for that one. And I'll let you know what he pays for that breakage. That's basically electrical plugs cut off from the wall, right? Electrical sockets with, with the wire and the plug in there. We'll see what he pays. I think he'd pay 10 cents a pound, I'm thinking, because it is copper in there still, right? But we'll see. I'll let you know. Anyways, what I did is uh, I took him that... Uh, other stuff there they told me uh those electrical sockets they told me like seven cents so i said well how about better he said okay eight, eight cents well i can throw in a shred, shred pile and get it for eight cents so that's okay but 
I didn't feel like taking a little bit of wires out for you know for like a couple of pounds of wire it's already worth it it only gave me you know that kind of wire is about maybe 70 cents 75 cents maybe it's not really worth it uh, I forgot to uh, take those copper things back there just to get slip my mind here forgot about them those dirty radiator pieces but I had 518 pounds of wire so that was a big load there that's not counting containers the containers were taken off so it's 518 pounds of wire and there was a lot of low-grade wire mixed in I mixed some computer wire ribbons in there and crap like that whatever you mix it all in there it all looks the same after you can't tell so uh, I probably had about 10 pounds of computer wire in there and a bunch of other stuff I took anything that was thicker than normal like a strip I separate that for myself so I got a, I got maybe a, a garbage can and a half left of wire and I'm cleaned out pretty well so anyways like I say 55 cents uh, they don't want to pay any more that's what it is and um, even though copper may go down a little more I think their price is pretty fixed at a 55 cents uh, unless copper goes to two dollars it may be a different story but right now with copper being close to three dollars you know expect to that's all they're paying is around 55 I used to get around 70 cents for that wire 70 75 cents right so I guess you know I can't complain you know it's only another 50 60 bucks more if you look at it uh, I was tripping over the stuff that's the problem I get so much stuff from the garage now like I had a whole truck load full so imagine all that extra footage right I can uh, at least maneuver around my garage and do things versus tripping on stuff and if I put in storage and stuff, then I gotta worry about theft, and I gotta then the prices could go lower. Then I'm sitting on a bunch of wire that just continuously losing money. So, best thing is uh, what you should do is uh, if the time is right, you need the money, you know, sell it. If not, you know, spend the time to clean it. But for me to clean that wire, it'd probably take me a month every day. Well, I'd probably it would be probably a little faster because my stripping wire works okay for smaller wires, but if those small wires don't really add up. That's a problem. So I don't want to be sitting there stripping wires and and having like 10 pounds in an eight-hour shift. Of, you know, it's not worth it. So I rather just strip the big thick stuff. Even a even a Luminex is is kind of borderline. You gotta strip a lot of it to make weight. I stripped like you know about five hours worth. Only had like 30 pounds. So that's kind of a borderline also. But it's still easy to strip. It's not too bad. Put it in. Out, comes out pretty fast. But okay that's what it is uh pretty good day today sold a lot of scrap i uh, made a lot of room okay stay tuned